20 years after the series finale of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, fans can jump back in with their favorite characters in a new Audible series, Slayers, a Buffyverse story, and Spike and Drusilla, played by James Marsters and Juliet Landau, are with me now. Welcome, guys. It's great to meet you both. The series is about how connections never die, right? And we could say the same thing for this cast. What's it been like reuniting with everyone to do press? You mean that we, we never die? <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> I was so excited um, to be able to play with Juliet Lando again. Uh, I I find her to be one of the most interesting actors I've ever performed with. Uh, I think most actors spend most of our time trying to look cool. And that is only so interesting. And uh, Juliet is one of those very brave actors uh, that that are able to do that and is consequently just gorgeous, uh, but also interesting. And so I just, I just left at it. Thank What's you your... so much, James. I mean, I, we, from the get go, we have had an incredible acting chemistry. And I think that is the joy when you're acting that there are surprises and you have no idea where things are going to go. And it's like a dance if you will, or a tennis match where the ball gets lobbed somewhere that you never expected. And those are the real riches and joys of, of, of getting to do what we do and getting to work with actors like, like James. I can imagine it also seeing you guys, hearing, hearing each other, it does bring you back too to the chemistry in person. I do want to make sure people understand where we are with the characters, because in this expansion of the Buffyverse, right now it's a little bit later, right? Last we saw some of you, they were underground. I believe it's 10 years later now, is that right? 10, 10 years later, yes. Okay. Just, just walk us through where we are so people understand. There are multiple universes going on in the project. And so it's different for different characters at different times. But as far as the universe that, that the, the audience is gonna be used to, it is a world where there are multiple slayers, the potentials have all become slayers. But you know, there's enough work to go around. There's enough evil in the world that everyone's pretty much overwhelmed anyway. So that hasn't changed. And in that universe, uh, there is a, a new slayer and is very excited to be a new slayer and completely unaware of uh, the trouble that she's going to be in, the sacrifice that she's going to be asked to make. All because I'm the big bad and basically yeah. they have to come into this alternate universe. Um, Spike, they're, they're asking Spike to come and battle because he understands Drusilla like nobody else. Right. The fan, I just want to mention the fan love for, for this show because yeah. it's so strong. And I know you guys are at Comic-Con and you're always reuniting with longstanding fans. What That must mean so much to you too. Like I am curious if people, you know, constantly are like yelling spike at you. It must be, you know, these fans are diehard and it must be really special. The fans are incredible. I mean, they are an incredible fan base and it, it, it it's incredible amazing how generationally it gets shared among families um and 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 the staying power which i think is a testament to to the writing um you know it it, it means so much i do want to mention also other things i know uh james you have a band right ghost of the robot you just played in new york yeah we'll be playing nashville in december and we're looking to play london in august i love your son's in the band right yes he's he's pretty much the leading the band now <laughs> I uh, wanted to also mention that we just had the worldwide streaming and Blu-ray release of my feature film, A Place Among the Dead. And it's your directorial debut as well, right? It is. We've been having the most profound conversation with audience. Um, the movie explores the repercussions of growing up under the sway of narcissism and psychological abuse. And it's just so many people have said that the movie has been life changing, which absolutely means the world. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. You can listen to all nine episodes of Slayers, a Buffy verse story available exclusively now on Audible. Thanks, guys. <laughs>